another haul. So last weekend I went to Eastwood. There was a bazaar and I couldn't help myself so I bought quite a few things. So let me start off with some brushes. I saw that there's a store there that actually sells beauty cosmetics brushes. So this was a brush that I got a couple of months back from that same brand, Beauty Cosmetics. The material is pretty good and it's pretty affordable. So I bought a couple more from that same brand. So the first one is a fan brush. So you can definitely use this for like highlighting some areas of your face. I don't own a fan brush yet, so I got one. So the next one is this. I don't even know what kind of brush this is, but I figured I could use this for putting powder on my face and probably under my eyes. So I just hate it when I need a clean brush and the rest of my brushes are pretty dirty. So I figured I'd you know, go ahead and buy some more brushes. This one I found very interesting because this is the next brush. It's uh, the Expert Face Brush. So if you're familiar with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, then this is a dupe for that. Quality is pretty good. You know, I don't have that brush, so I decided to buy one. All right, well, this last brush is pretty interesting. I mean, the shape is actually pretty weird, but they call it the three face brush. I think it's Sigma who has this type of brush originally, so it's a dupe for that. I think it was just released recently, so figured I'd go ahead and try this out and play around with it. I did buy a couple of cosmetics. Of course, I'm gonna let you know where I bought these from. All right, so this is the first one. It's a uh, mascara. This is the Revlon Lash Potion. Well, I've been watching Tati, uh, our glam life guru here in YouTube. She's from the US. She loves mascaras. I mean, she, she buys a ton of mascaras, you know, like high-end drugstore. So she knows a lot about mascaras. This is the one that she highly recommends. So I bought it and I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. Next one is just a random thing. Um, it's a Rimmel Soft Coal eyeliner pencil. This one is in denim blue. Let me go ahead and open it up right now because I've been trying to... All right, I've been holding off on opening any of these things that I bought over the weekend, but let me see this. Oh, okay. Said so this is for a smoky eye effect. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. I actually want to use this for my tight line, but um, let's see. For tight lining, I mean. So that's the one in blue. The next one is from L'Oreal. This is an infallible eyeliner, and I got mine in the color highlighter. This is the best part of buying new products. It's actually opening it up. Eh. There's a couple of other colors available there, but ooh, I figured I go ahead and buy this. This would actually look great here, just to brighten up my eyes and just make it look a little bit more awake. Can't wait to go ahead and uh, try this out. I'm just gonna go ahead and add this. I didn't buy this last weekend, but I bought it from the same store a couple of months back. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly um, Mascara. I have been trying out a lot of different mascaras because I've only enjoyed one so far. So I want to try out as much as I can so I can find you know, my holy grail mascara. Now the best part of my purchases, I'm sure you've guessed it by now, but I bought some lip products. Well, the first ones are from Rimmel. Um, this is the Rimmel Show Off. I got one in the lacquer version and I got ones in matte. I forgot how much I like this. A friend of mine gave uh, one to me. I'm wearing it right now. It's the one in Nova. Uh, Elena, thank you. So I just remembered how much I love the formula and I bought one in Apocalyptic. Well, first of all, the packaging looks really nice. It's supposed to look like a crystal. Oh, that's pretty unique. 
The formula is very light. It doesn't stay too long on my lips, but I do like the formula. It's not drying whatsoever. So I decided to buy one more color from, from the lacquer version. This one is an apocalyptic. And I'll do some scratches. So I also bought the matte versions because I don't have a lot of matte lip products as much as I do love lip products in general. The, the feeling that my lips are actually dry. But since I do like the lacquer version, I figured, you know, it's liquid. I'm pretty sure it's gonna feel a little bit more comfortable on the lips. So I got mine in Meteoric Matte. It's like a dark pink version. Next one is in Burning Lava. This is the red version, a darker red version. What I like though is that these are liquid lipsticks, they're not drying. Now, I did read uh, a couple of reviews on this one. It doesn't dry super matte on the lips, which is fine for me because I really don't like that dry look on my lips. Go ahead and try these colors out. But there are nude versions as well. I just didn't, you know, want to try those out because I do have a couple of nude lipsticks already. Next one is from uh, Maybelline. If you watched my last videos, I did show my, my favorite um, products from Maybelline. I think this should have been a part of it, but the packaging is actually pretty cool. It's matte, obviously, because it's a matte lipstick. This one is in Faint for Fuchsia. It's funny because I remember <laughs> there was a time when I would just go for nude lipsticks or anything that is really close to my lip color and I didn't really want to explore and you know try out reds or berries or fuchsia. This one is in Faint for Fuchsia. There's a couple more colors available but you know I just wanted to try out the formula first and yeah go ahead and try out the matte lipsticks from Maybelline if you're you know a matte Lover. All right, the last one is the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. And I've been seeing this all over the internet for the past couple of months. Well, it's matte. I'm trying out matte stuff. So I decided to get one. It's pretty hard to choose a color because um, I do see lip swatches online, but sometimes they're not too accurate. So I asked the owner of the shop what's what's their best selling color and she said it was bazaar so i got bazaar <laughs> decided to try it out and best part is to take this off and just try the product out and oh ooh, i like that okay it's a very neutral color uh, i would see why it's a best seller for them it's not too dark, it's not too light, it's just the right amount of color for your lips. It's like a, a light reddish pink. I can't, I'm so bad at describing this color, but yeah, it, it, it's a color that you can actually use every day. All right, so that's it for my haul video. I hope you enjoyed that. If there's any specific item that I mentioned that you would want me to do a full review on, please let me know, you know, just put it on the comments below and I will gladly do that review for you. I'm still gonna go ahead and try out these products so that I can try to see if that's something that I could recommend for you to go ahead and, you know, buy. But yeah, thank you. I will be posting videos every week. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I do have an Instagram account that you can go ahead and follow. I do post there regularly. And see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.